In this video, we're looking at how to use the table and graphing function on the Casio FX83 and 85GTCW. We're going to do an example now in a minute as a quadratic function. However, the steps are the same for linear, cubic, etc. Before you begin though, I would advise that you clear or reset your calculator before beginning. So the example we're going to look at here is draw a graph for the function y is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 3 in the domain minus 2 is to 3. Now in the domain just basically means between those two values, minus 2 and 3. So in the table here, you can see my inputs or my x values are minus 2 up to 3. I've gone up in whole numbers. I now need to find the corresponding y values and then I'll write down my coordinates, my points. So coming over to my calculator, I need to set it to table and graphing function mode first of all. To do that, click on the home button and scroll over to where it says table and click on OK. You will see a screen now with two columns, one for the X, which is going to be my inputs. I'm going to put them in in a second. And then it will generate my outputs, my F of X or my Y in simple terms. But before we do that though, you see here where it says F of X, that's my function. And it's saying I don't have a function, it's saying none. So I need to create my function. So to create your function, just below the left arrow key is a word saying function F of X. So click on that white key. Here we scroll down to define the function and click on OK. We now want to input our 2x squared minus x minus 3. So I'm clicking on my 2 key. To get the x you need to click on the blue shift button followed by 0. You can see the x above the 0. Then click on the power of 2 button. If you have a cubic just use the one to the left and input the power yourself. Then I'm using my minus shift 0 again to get the x minus 3. So there's my function. To save my function, click on equals. I now need to put my inputs in, my minus 2 up to my positive 3. So my first input is going to be minus 2. When you have it typed in, you press on the equals button. I now need to put in my next input, which is minus 1. Press your equals after each one. I'm now putting in 0, 1, 2, and finally 3. Remember, press equals after each one. I now have my inputs in, in my table and my corresponding outputs, my f of x or my y as we said. So if I scroll back up to my table to the start, you can see here that my first input was minus 2. It gave me an output of 7, so I'm just going to put that into my table. My minus one input gave me a zero as my y. My zero as my x gave me minus three. My one gave me minus two. Scrolling down again through my table and for my two and my three, my two gave me an output of three and my input, my x of three, gave me a y of 12. So again, I'm just gonna write out my points now. So my first point is minus two, seven. And my final one, three, 12. So that is using the graphing and tables function on the calculator to create the points first of all, and now we'd go off and plot them on our coordinate graph. 